I am a sixth generation cranberry farmer. My great-great-grandfather helped to start the Ocean Spray Cooperative. I am a third generation cranberry grower. My grandfather was a partial investor in a cranberry bog back in the 1950s. My father and my uncle started with one acre of cranberry bogs and they've expanded that over 30 years to 150 acres. Today is nearing the end of June. We are currently at Benson's Pond. Right now we're in bloom season. It's a very busy time of the year. Cranberries are cultivated all year. Sometimes it surprises people because they associate cranberries just with the harvest. Unlike harvest, the cranberry beds are not flooded. This is what they normally look like. Right now you can see on the bog there's a lot of bloom. The blossoms have come out. The blossoms look like a crane. Cranberries are called cranberries because during bloom the flower looks like a crane. Cranberries have to be pollinated to produce a crop. We are so mindful of the importance of bees and the synergistic relationship that we need to have with the bee population. In the background, we also have commercial bees in. The bee population will pollinate the blossom and then the blossom falls off and you get the start of the cranberry. During bloom, we also fertilize. This is when the plants need the most nutrition. You go from there into doing what we call integrated pest management, where you're going across the different bogs and seeing what the pest pressures are. There is irrigation that happens in the summer months, so you'll see all the sprinklers will come on. You just have to make sure that we irrigate when needed, but besides that, we just sort of let them do their thing and grow. 